My name is Scott Openlander, and this is my senior project. I spent almost, uh, well, a lot of Saturdays over the last semester right here in the Bentonville Square, and I've been making a series of journalistic videos about the Bentonville Farmer's Market. I've been making the videos for use of Downtown Bentonville Incorporated, and their office is actually just right over there, and I have been making it about the farmer's market that they put on every week during the springs and summers. So the purpose of these videos was to actually promote the farmer's market for Downtown Bentonville Incorporated. So what I wanted to do was I wanted to show what it's like to come to the market, but in video form. So what I did was I interviewed different vendors and I showed off the different products, the different food, all sorts of different things that are available for purchase at the Bentonville Farmer's Market every Saturday. So for the first video, I actually interviewed Stephanie Marpy and she is the market manager. So she basically runs the whole show at the Farmer's Market. And interviewing her was great because she knew lots of the like statistics and lots of facts about the market and she was able to tell me a lot about the history of it and that was a really great inside perspective and a really great way for me to start my interviewing was to have her ideas. And then the second video, I interviewed Cynthia Ross and she runs the By Hand and By Heart booth at the Farmer's Market. She knits and she sells her different things. The third video is called The Place for Produce and that one I feature two of the different people that grow and sell their own produce here at the Farmer's Market. The fourth video is about Sayu Creek Forge. There are three blacksmiths, a father and two brothers, and they've been forging together since the two brothers were born. Over the process, I was able to do a lot of things that I know how to do really well. I've taken photos at events a lot, but taking videos in this kind of a setting was really new to me. I had a lot of challenges during this project and a lot of opportunities to grow from them. For example, the Bentonville Square is a really difficult place to capture audio. There's four streets that border this square and there's almost always cars and trucks coming through, so there's lots of loud noises. Occasionally planes will fly over and during the market there's a lot of people that actually have power generators and those are very loud. So trying to shoot interviews in that kind of an environment is definitely difficult, but I was able to overcome that for the most part. Well, I was able to edit the audio and take out a lot of those loud noises and make the audio a little bit clearer. But that was a bit of a learning curve, is that something I hadn't really done much before. And I had a lot of fun, honestly, coming here and being able to just interact with the community in a way I hadn't before. I was able to grow a lot and overall been a great success.